I'm still rolling with the punches. Yeah, swallowing the bullet, you know. Power of the course. Just keep on keeping on, you know. Sometimes you bite the bear, sometimes the bear bites you. No matter how bad or ugly it gets, you gotta keep your gear up. You know, that's what I say. People say be about the ground, I'm above the dirt, vertical and breathing, one foot, one foot in front of the other. I say one mess to the next. Actually, if people ask me how I'm doing, I say SSDD. Same shit, different day. <laughs> different stroke for different folks. Just remember, everything you pour on pancakes ain't syrup. I got some uh, snacks to feed my feed my beer going on here. Cheers to cheers to computer D man. You know, as a you know, I never really you know been around a lot of different you know people to really uh, get a feel and get a notion about. You know, my projection and my forthcoming uh, attempt to uh, run for office. And uh, because I'll tell you this, that if, if they elected actually even considered that I would even be in the political agenda and political party, and it even matter which one per se, that by and large, um, overall, uh, adaptably wise, I would be considered just because I could be considered because the fact of the matter is I can uh, relate and uh, tolerate and um, integrate my uh, ideals and philosophies and flow of logic in a sensible uh, uh, persistent uh, you know uh, you know candid civil manner because a lot of you know and recently I saw this footage it was deplorable in the uh, Senate that they guy dude was ready to fight him and I'm like come on you know it's good acting like kids I'm like I mean out here I am watching this and I was I was dismayed and I was in awe and you know a lot of people would be uh, you know multi uh Opinionated about such a situation and I was at the same token. I couldn't even believe as I was Viewing this that that could actually I mean occur because the fact of the matter by and large I can I mean I think I could do better than Biden could do and I'm a lot younger and I don't have no politic, you know experience really I mean a little bit I mean, but I've never been to no rally or no fucking riot or you know, I can't uh I mean I could look at a scenario I mean I could see the piece of what you know, what is what? Common sense. My uh fortitude, my mode, my going at it, my uh force of uh, approaching stuff and tackling things head on is common sense. You know, you just use your best judgment, like cooking. Like, I'm actually, I'm a good cook. I could, I guarantee, last time I even fucking made brownies, the first time I made them, I burnt them. I'll tell you what, the second time I made them, my mom said they're the best fucking thing she ever had in her damn life. My mom's going to be 75 years old. Shit. She's basically almost 30 years older than me. And she said they're the best things, best tasting dessert she ever had. And it's only the second time I made brownies. First time I made sourdough bread. Head of the block. I mean, Charlie from Philadelphia couldn't even believe it. Uh, my dad chomped down, slam dunk, smashed him. They went like candy. I mean, crack. I mean, it was dope. I mean, my sourdough bread took off. My lasagna, when I made that, first time in my life. My mom's coworker went head over heels. She couldn't, she went banana, she went nuts over it, berserk. Like, the best thing she ever even had. And the cake I made last time. She, my mom even said my cake was better than her cake. Doesn't that tell you something? 
my spaghetti, my meatballs, my fucking chicken. I've worked in 15 kitchens. I've, I've taken culinary school. Shit. When I was 13, I tried to use popcorn, shrimp, and pasta to experiment. First time I even cooked or... Uh, I'll rewind. Uh, long story short, my, uh, my mom's aunt. My sister had been about five, whatever, five. Here I am, seven, maybe no more than eight years old. Hoisted us up on a stool. She, long story, she told, told us how to make grilled cheese. I had fun making that. I, mean, I loved it. Actually, it was pretty fun making grilled cheese sandwich. That's like one of the first things I ever cooked. Fast forward to about six years later uh, in the house I grew up in, trying to make shrimp, frozen shrimp with uh, pasta, it was sauce experimenting. It was a blunder, it didn't turn out good. I mean, it was uh, probably okay. I mean, as buzzed as I am, I would eat some. But, man, I'm savory. I like savory, I like sweet. I could do rolls. My favorite thing to make is four leaf clover rolls. I could be a chef in the White House. I'm not set one. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work it. I ain't working at no Taco Bell. Nah. I mean, just because of my pride, I got a little pride left, a little hope and pride left, you know. But I mean. It ain't over till it's over. Fat lady ain't sung yet. I'm still kicking. I mean, I'm still trucking. Keeping on, keeping on. Shit. I'm just, you know. Yeah, and then Vorvox thinks I'm just here sitting here to try to, you know, uh, earn, get attention. And he's got a point, I am. But that's not my only, uh, my only, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, ulterior motive. We all got ulterior motives, I mean, People are all insecure to a certain extent. We're all insecure. I mean, I understand if people are cynical about me. That's, hey, but guess what? It's a fair assessment, but the thing is, I fully feel that I have the full potential to actually run this damn country and because I have a guideline and an outline and a um, meaning and you have to have a meaning without a meaning you can't accomplish shit I got a fucking outline guideline a sketch of how I would fucking break down and outline this damn country to where it needs to be and improve uh, vastly improve the Senate and the Congress and the House of House of Rep sucks man Judicial system needs to be revamped and improved, organized, man, restructured, man. I'm telling you, man, this fucking country you know, is going to um, uh, dwindling. It's fucking deteriorating. It's, um, you know, yeah. And then people wonder, oh, well, why about wondering and question marking COVID and this and that, the uh, vaccines and. Uh, No surprise in it. I mean, shit. Shouldn't be no damn shock. <sighs>